Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you the setup of my Northwest wall tent made in Surrey, BC. I'm going to go over some of the pros and cons of this tent and also some of the features that I've added to it. So these poles here go on the uh, ends at the bottom, that way they don't cut through the canvas. They got a little plastic cap here. And there's 10 of these poles all together. And because this has a canopy on the front, it's a five foot canopy. Uh, and even those ones have the little caps on them. For the rafters, they have uh, two short pieces. I don't know if you can see that in the frame, but two short pieces. Uh, and it leaves on to make one long one for one side of the rafters one on the other side and that is five rafters in total so ten of these okay so now we have the poles roughly laid out now we're going to lay out all the elbow and connecting pieces uh, and we'll drop one at every point and then we will take the canvas and get half of it up put the canvas on and then we'll push it up and uh, two guys can do this push it up and put the other row of poles in so these are the elbows that we use it's a it's a thick aluminum uh, they all have spots to tie a rope and uh, in case of a windstorm they don't pull away from each other on the connections and your whole tent falls down the, uh, the rope or whatever material you're using will hold it together. Um, Northwest wall tents, you can buy these separately in case you crush one of the ends. I haven't had any crush. I'm sure if you hit it hard enough or stepped on it hard enough, uh, it would crush. Um, you'd have to step pretty hard. But uh, no issues for me. I've th thrown them around and none of them have had any issues. Now that we have the roof frame uh, just slid together, now we have to use rope to tie all the elbows together to stop it from coming apart at the connections. We have everything tied together. Now we're going to get one side up on poles, we're going to put the canvas on, and then we're going to push up the other side and get that side on. Okay, so the canvas is partially put on. Uh, I'm just going to show you this because it does have the canopy. Um, it has holes underneath the fabric for the front poles to go through. Uh, some guys leave these poles till the end. Uh, I stick them on and then I just untie it quickly. Put the elbow and pole through the canvas. And then I tie it back up. And sorry about all the grass on my canvas. The grass was just freshly cut here. So... Middle, and then we'll push up the other side and then we'll do the same on this corner inside the canvas and feed the uh, aluminum through okay so for this part if I really had to I could do it by myself um, but I'm gonna get somebody to help me to push this side up and we'll put all the poles in So here's the finished product of the Northwest wall tent. Here are eyelets here. We normally attach uh, bungees. They give you a string, uh, which is a pain in the butt. We just use bungees and we bungee the corners to stay on. We normally have our wood pile out here and some extra gear. Uh, the tent has a door, also has a screen, mesh screen you can roll down. Uh, works great on those hot hunts. Here is the stovepipe jack also has a cover that way if you don't put your stove pipe in you can cover it up um, that way if in a hot summer or a warm hunt you don't need to have your stove in here if you, if you don't bring it if you do have your stove i highly recommend getting a welding blanket they're fiber lapse blankets uh, we use ours in behind here to protect the canvas and uh, direct the heat towards us 
and it works awesome. We just hang it with some rope and we put a two by four in the bottom after we fold it to keep it nice and tight and against the wall. Uh, these are the windows. There's one on either side. They have a Velcro cover that goes on the outside so you can roll it up on the outside so you can get screen. Not a big fan of it. Um, when I'm inside at night and I roll up the outside, I want one on the inside so I can control if the windows open or close from the inside. I don't want to have to go outside and open and close it. Uh, basically how we got around that is we roll it up and then on the inside we just tuck towels down here um, and drape them in front of the windows. Also keeps people from rolling it up on the outside and peeking in to see what we have for gear. Uh, this is a 14 by 12 wall tent. Uh, it also comes with a ground cover and it velcros and you can see that black velcro um, Never used to take it this year on a moose hunt or sorry last year on a moose hunt We uh, we ran into a lot of mice and uh, I'll definitely be bringing the uh, the ground cover for now on uh, Lots and lots of times what we will do uh, Especially over by the fire on this side. We'll hang a clothesline um, to hang gear uh, what we've done the last few times, we've also bring, brought a uh, one of those plastic black shelves you can buy at Walmart or Home Depot, and it's great for stacking food and cooking on, um, or or just a, a standard table. Um, this tent is huge. You can easily fit four hunters. Normally there's two, two of us or three of us, uh, so we put one cot here, one cot there, a cot at the back, and then all of our gear bins in the middle. Um, we have a cooking center over here, depending what we're hunting and where we're hunting. Sometimes we will cook outside. Um, so that's pretty much the inside of the tent. So we'll do a quick overview of the outside. I already talked about the five foot porch. Um, there's really not much to it. You can see the, uh, the stove jack cover. Uh, and if you are using it, you just roll it up and tuck it in here. Uh, there's another window and that's the covering on the outside which can be rolled up and velcroed. Uh, it's got eyelets so depending on if it's windy or not you can you can strap it down. Uh, we also have uh, 10 inch galvanized spikes that we spike it all the way around. Uh, we got those at Home Depot they're, they're pretty cheap. Uh, and lastly if you're buying one of these tents either buy a really good tarp or good rain cover uh, I bought a rain cover with this tent and uh, it's definitely paid off it keeps the whole thing dry uh, you don't want to get mildew on your tent because it will uh, it'll ruin the material over time and putting it away wet uh, just speeds up that process so there is my wall tent Hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and uh, keep following for future videos.